So this is the uh, second uh, record, second project for BIS that uh, VOVA, that Ashkenaz and I are doing um, and it's 20 years apart, so it's quite interesting for us. So it's just wonderful to be in, in the studio and especially in Abbey Road uh, Studio One, which is probably the most famous studio in the world. It's just absolute privilege to record in there. You know, I keep using this word privilege, but to, to work on Kostakovich with Vova, with Ashkenazi, is just because it's a direct link. Interestingly enough, I was at the premiere of this piece in Moscow, and the premiere was just with the piano. Rostropovich played with his pianist, Mr. Dejuhin, and they played uh, in a quite a small room of the Union of Soviet Composers for, uh, for presenting new pieces. And Shostakovich was there, he was sitting about alone in the first or second row, and many composers sat be behind him. And I was invited somehow. Somebody told me, if you're free, do you want to come? I said, of course I want to come. So I came, and I listened to the very first performance with the piano of this uh, piece. And uh, Rostropovich played fantastically well, of course, and his pianist played very well, too. It was um, a big success with the composers. So those are the kind of stories we have with Ashkenazi. And then of course that he met and worked with him and he was coached by him in the, in the piano quintet. And it's interesting that, uh, that Hostakovich waited uh, into his 50s to write a cello concerto. And it's just a masterpiece. It just has absolute perfect architecture. It's gorgeous. He's a very good musician and a very good cellist. He has his own concept, of course, which could be different from Rostropovich's concept, concept uh, but it is uh, very convincing, it's very intense, and it makes a lot of sense. He plays so well, wonderful. And I like him also as a person. He is um, dedicated, modest, um, honest, lovely person. <laughs> to record with, with the Oxford Phil, who were my friends. Of course, it's just nice to sit in front of them and they were very supportive. When I watch my colleagues, there's always an individual musician. And I think that's the strength of Marius, that he, he, he lets us finding, I mean, we follow him, but we have also our own way of playing. And you're, you're, you know, you're talking about these virtuoso players that sits there. So of course, they're gonna try things and express certain things does something to the sound. I think it's a question of decibel. When an orchestra feels free, it's just going to take off. Uh, the orchestra is on a very high level. Uh, so Marius Papadopoulos has done a very good job. And he, I know that he is very dedicated. He's absolutely honest with everything. And that's one of the qualities that brings the growth of potential of the attitude um, and the level of playing. So he's done a great job, I think. So I'm delighted I'm invited to play them with them. Here you're dealing with two masterpieces. I mean, the Kostakovich is not only a standard repertoire and one of the most important cello concertos, but it's just utterly beautiful. And if one then thinks of Kostakovich being, you know, squeaky or modern, it's, it's just a very romantic work. It has a slow movement which is on par with his Fifth Symphony. I mean, it's just divine music and very exciting, lyrical. So, you know, you get and, and funky if you want that. And then you have uh, all the famous operarias in one go.